you know, vehicle inspections and VIN verifications and DMV procedures may seem um, bureaucratic, but here's one of the reasons why. Um, there was a, ch a group of people who were stealing vehicles and using some DMV paperwork loopholes to try to get away with auto theft. And they arrested um, many people for stealing a million dollars worth of cars in Miami. How are they doing it? Well, this system was organized criminals that would rent cars out or getting cars by other means, meaning that they would somehow get possession of the car. Now, possession of the car isn't enough to get ownership. If you rent a car from Hertz or Avis or Enterprise, it doesn't mean you own it. If you take a car for a test drive from a dealership, you don't own it. But if you can get a car in your possession or borrow it from somebody, then you have the chance to do what's called revinning, where you take the VIN number that's on the dashboard and you take that off and put on another VIN number that's not of the vehicle that you rented and then you try to resell them through some of them they tried to sell through a dealership some they tried to export now the problem with that is the vin number that's on the dashboard isn't the only vin number on the car on some cars there's 12 or 14 different vin numbers scattered around the car many of them are hidden and only the police officer or the police department knows where they are so you can't replace them all anyways uh, these stolen cars with, had falsified titles and they sold to dealerships, AutoNation. AutoNation sold some of these cars unknowingly. They didn't do anything wrong. Um, they got a legitimate title. They bought them and they ended up selling stolen cars, which they had to buy back. According to the article, you could be careful when you buy a car, double, triple check the paperwork, and that might help. However, this paperwork was done um, pretty thoroughly. Matter of fact, a vehicle title is not something you can print up on a home computer. It's something that has a lot of security features comes from the DMV. So if the DMV issues a title with a VIN number on it, you might think that that's legitimate. But you might want to look at some of the second or third VIN numbers on the vehicle. Now the one on the dashboard is attached with tamper-proof rivet. So in theory, you shouldn't be able to take one off and put one on unless you tamper with those rivets. But some of the thieves thieves know how to make the rivets look correct so if you're buying a high-end vehicle and the person you're buying it from maybe has some red flags maybe their name doesn't show up on the title maybe the ownership doesn't appear to be um, normal of how owner should be maybe there's no lien on a vehicle that's one or two years old and why is the person selling it you might want to look at some of the other VIN numbers if you look underneath some of the VIN numbers are accessible to civilians and you can find out if that VIN number has been changed. Another thing you can do is if you plug in an OBD uh, vehicle evaluator or diagnostic tool into the computer system, the actual VIN number of the vehicle will show up in the computer. So if you pull up on the navigation screen or in the um, infotainment system or plug in a diagnostic tool you can see the actual VIN number of that vehicle and if it doesn't match what's on the dash that could be a red flag so this is a very good example of how sophisticated criminals are using the DMV system against itself to get titles for vehicles that they've stolen